can see this is a building and we have a lift inside. And we know that the lift can carry safely up to 1,200 kilograms. And we know that the mean weight of man is 60 kilograms and the standard deviation is about 20 kilograms and we have normal distribution of weights. You probably have seen many times in the lift that the writing says uh, only 12 people allowed or only 6 people allowed, right? So how is it calculated? Let's answer a similar question. How many persons should be allowed to enter in order for us to be 99% sure that the lift shall not be overweight? Okay, so let's start with a man. A man, man's weight has normal distribution with mean equals 60 kilograms and standard deviation is 20, so variance is 20 squared. So standard deviation is 20 kilograms. Okay, now n people enter. So what is the new random variable. Y is just n x. n people are entering the lift. Okay, what's the distribution? It is again normal by previous theorems. And mu, let's say with subscript n, how, how many we expect? n times 60. So we have 60 n. If one person gives more or less 60, then n people will give 60 n. Okay, and variance will be summed up. So variance squared will be 400 n. And the standard deviation of this group of n people will be square root of this. So this is 20 square root of n. Uh, y is, well, let me write down this, x1 plus x2 plus xn, okay? So what do we want? We want probability that y is less than 1200, we want it to be 0, 99 or less, okay? Let's standardize it z less than 1, 2, 0, 0, minus 60n, okay, this is the new mean, by standard deviation 20 square root of n, and this should be less than 0, 0,99. But what is the um, 0, 0,99? This is distribution function of cumulative distribution function of of this 1, 2, 0, 0, minus 60 n by 20 square root of n. Okay, now let's have a look at this. Let's find the border, the bordering value of n so that this is satisfied. So f, or rather phi, we decided to use letter phi. So let's uh, find out the inverse of cumulative distribution function, so inverse of this, phi to minus 1 of 0, 0,99, we find from the table, starting from interior to the outside, and this is equal to 233, and this should be equal to this number. So we have such an such equation. What do we do? We just solve this equation. How do we solve it? Multiply both sides by 20 uh, square roots of n. So we have 1, 2, 0, 0, minus 60 n equals 4, 6, 6 square root of n. Okay. We can uh, replace now square root of n by t. So we have, and let's order this equation, minus 60t squared minus 46.6t 
plus 1, 2, 0, 0 equals 0. So we have an ordinary quadratic equation. Uh, first we can divide by minus 60. It will be easier for us to calculate. So we have t squared plus 071t minus to be minus 20 equals 0. Okay, so delta is 0, 0,71 squared plus 18. So this is about 81, so square root of delta is about 9. Um, so T1 is minus 0, 0,71 minus 9 by 2, but it will be negative, so it's not interesting. T2 is zero, minus 0, 7 plus 9 by 2, so it will give us about 4.1, and this is square root of n, because we substitute it. Yes, so m let's now take a square of the two sides of this equation, and we obtain n equals about 16.6, but we want to be uh, sure, we want to be sure if you take 17, then the level of certainty will drop down. So we have to take less. So let add x n equal 16. That's the only 16 persons allowed. Okay. Let's start to formulate the so-called limit theorems. The first theorem is the law of big numbers. Let x1, x2 until xn be random variables of identical distribution with expected value mu and finite variance sigma squared. Of course, it means that um, it can refer to a sample for, taken from a population. Then, the sequence of means denoted x dash, which is x1 plus x2 plus x divided by n, tends to mu when n tends to infinity. So the, the bigger the n, um, the easier the values are close to mu. So it means the mean of the samples, means of samples, tend to the mean of the population. Of course, we can take a sample, uh, obtain a sample which is different, but if n is very, very big, it's very unlikely for the sample to have a different mean than the sample of the population. And second theorem is central limit theorem. Let x1, x2, xn be random variables of identical distribution with expected value mu and variance sigma squared. Then, the sequence of means, means are x1 plus x2 plus xn divided by n, has normal distribution. Let's observe that the word normal appears only here. It wasn't assumed in the distribution of x1, x2, xn. That could be any distribution. Okay, So it has normal distribution with expected value mu and variance sigma squared by n. And in symbols we write it like this. Let's uh, try to find the answers to the following question. The fish have mean of 350 grams and a variance of 30 grams squared and the weights have normal distribution. Find probability that A. A fish caught has weight above 380 grams. B. Four fish caught have weight above 1500 grams together C. The mean of four fish is below 360 grams. And D. How many fish should we catch 
to be 90% sure that their total weight is above 1,100 grams.